Right, welcome to uh, Adobe After Effects and green screen. I'm just going to import a file that I did earlier and um, with the green screen on. And what I'm going to do is get rid of the front part of the video of me walking into shop because uh, I don't need that into the final production what I'm going to do. So what we just do is uh, get to where we want it to start, go to edit, split layer get rid of that part then move the video to the beginning again then what we're going to do is we're going to get the pen tool which would do a mask and I'm going to get rid of this uh, left hand part which uh, we're not going to use anyway I'm going to quickly go around the chair because obviously that's not green I won't be able to key that out uh, so I've got my green screen uh, with two studio lights, all the stands, everything off of eBay, 99 quid, uh, really good buy. You get all the stands, you know, the proper white light and everything. Uh, so that was a good buy, really. Anyway, Adobe automatically defaults the mask to add. We've got to just drop it down and press subtract, obviously, unless you wanted to do it the other way. But there we go. We've got that bit, so now we're going to go up... Uh, to the effects, key in and key light and then we get the picker, click on the green the green's gone, but uh, something else we've got to do we've got to go down to the screen mat uh, and then uh, obviously the screen mat on here or just faffing about here, screen mat you fool go down to screen mat and then where you see black clip and white clip we've just got to alter those values just so the black is black and the white is white so there you go that's all right for the black go on to the white oops too much go to the white and uh, just make sure my image is white and that will do and that's uh, uh we don't go to the source no we want the final result so anyway to the final result and then you'll see that's uh roughly where we want it now, just going to get rid of the end footage. Uh, where well, it's got me getting up, which obviously we don't need. So there we go. Just scroll back a bit. As I say again, up to edit, split layer, and just get rid of that end bit. So now we're ready to import your game footage or whatever footage you want to put yourself into. So uh, we'll go up to uh, import. As I say, I've just recorded my garage in World of Tanks. Uh, that's the game I play. This is basically just to show you quickly how to, to put yourself in your game or any mover. Just shrink that up. Drop the game footage in, which is just the garage really. Obviously you can see I've got to readjust my image because it's too big. So uh, we click on the top video then we just take one of the corners and drag it in um, I should have had the shift key down really to keep it all in perspective went a bit funny there but uh, that'll do it's just about right and uh, we'll bring the end marker down because obviously we only want to render the parts that uh, are going to be in the video so we bring them down bring that down to there and that's it and that should be good enough to go let's move that back a little bit so it starts then we go up to uh, export to render queue add to render queue uh, change it to what file you want to output it to oh, not that one you fool click that one uh, i'll put it on uh, mp4 then obviously the file name you or you don't want to overwrite any files you've already done so I'll just name this one tanks and press render and that is it putting yourself in a video using green screen and Adobe After Effects it's all dead easy I mean you can slow the video down if it's too fast for you I, I just wanted to get this done just to show you how it's done really and I say the this stuff is ever so cheap. If you got a video camera, you can do all these sort of effects and put yourself in some fantastic videos. Anyway, good luck, lads. See you later.